All right, uh, 12 minutes after 8 right now. Next month, a team from a North Hills Elementary School is going to travel to Texas for a world robotics competition. Oh, my gosh, this is so great. So proud of these girls. They are unique in the sense that they're all girls. Mm -hmm. Christy Fajardo is live at Vintage Magnet Elementary oh. with their story. So inspiring. So inspiring, and I got to tell you, I feel like such an underachiever. These girls are just amazing. They are already pint-sized engineers. They have learned design, coding, and so much more. And they have a whole lot of trophies to show for their hard work. They won the Excellence Award at the state championships, and now they're going to the World Championship, where they will face off from teams from Canada, uh, we're told uh, the United Arab Emirates, Finland, and much, much more. And they will stand out, at least two of the teams from the school will stand out because they are made up of all girls. And I've been listening to their stories all morning, and it's just incredible what they've achieved. And um, you were telling me, I'm going to walk over here. Please tell me your name. Alexa Diaz. And you were saying that you are very proud of this team because not only are you learning robotics, you're also breaking down doors and you love that it's an all-girls team. Can you talk a little yes. bit about that? Um, so uh, I've seen robotics many times before, but when I've seen it, it would always be mostly only boys. So when I was, when I found out that they were doing a girls robotics team here, I was really interested and I wanted to learn about it. And I saw that there was more boys here, but there wasn't many girls. So I was really happy when we, that we've gone so far, when it's been so girls, we've all put our heads together and always tried to get the right solution. Um, and I just think it's girl power because the fact that we we're by ourselves and that there's not one boy, it's all girls. That just proves how strong girls could be. Yeah, you guys, yeah, you, yeah, you've really done an amazing job. You have so much to be proud of. And actually, the principal told us that when the team started initially, they only had two girls. Now you can see how many girls they have. They have five teams total, and two of them are all girls. And, you know, they not only learn coding and design and engineering, they actually have to put it all to use too because after they build a robot, they have to get it to perform certain tasks and they have to do it in one minute. So they also learn time management. And you, what is your name? Audrey. And Audrey, you were saying that you were really proud of the work that you have done and you guys won the Excellence Award at the state championships. Now you're heading to the world championships. So what does that feel like? It feels really great that because it's all um, it's all of our first years and that we're already going to Worlds and that we've been doing really good so far and I'm really excited to win a world at um, at Worlds. Oh, great, thank you so much, Audrey. And you know they do need your help. They have to raise forty thousand dollars to go to Dallas next month, and they're also learning about fundraising. And as you can see, they have put up this banner. They've also found sponsors. So it has been a learning experience on many, many fronts. And Tony and Aroxia, they want us to promise that when they win the world championship, we'll be back to cover it. Oh. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, without a doubt. Best of luck to them. I uh, think they can do it. I see no reason why they, they won't. Yeah, I really think um, <laughs> they've got a lot going for them.